guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. I sure am. It's Thursday. I'm home alone. Yes, I have the whole house to myself. As a new empty nester, my kids don't come home after work anymore. And the hubby had a hunting club meeting, so he has friends that he has to catch up with tonight. So I'm cooking for myself, just one person. And I got the easiest, quickest one person meal that I rarely cook for one person <laughs> in the kitchen tonight. And while we're on here, I want to see who out there needs help. So who's brand new to eating keto or low carb and who needs getting started tips? Let me get a fork because I forgot to get one real quick. <clears throat> Guys, if you're following my page, you know I'm home from Mexico. We went to Mexico for a few days. I think we were there three full days because our flight fiasco. But we had a great time. And guys, while I was gone to Mexico, I not only felt good, I actually felt great. Not only did I get in my daily movements as much as I do at home, if not actually more than I do at home because I had actual time to do it. I also left there feeling inspired and uplifted and empowered because I got home and not only did my shorts still fit like they're supposed to, but the scale actually moved down a pound. Yes, on vacation from Mexico. So while we're on vacation, we did some swimming, we did some hiking, we did some walking, we did a lot of sitting around in the pool, <laughs> we did some zip lining, we had a great adventure, but the fact that I could go and feel great the entire time, coming home feeling fantastic, is a true testament to what keto and low-carb living is. So I'm curious, guys, if you're on here, what is, or, or what is your best tip to give someone who's started, who's just starting? What is your best tip that you would share for someone who's getting started? And then if you're new or you just need help, and you want my simple getting started tips, type getting started in the comments. And we're gonna send you some information. First, let's talk about my dinner. We're making the most easiest thing that I can do for one person to get in and out of the kitchen. I do have a scheduled call at 7.30, so I only wanna chat a few minutes, and that is an omelet. I love omelets. I had an actual delicious omelet at the breakfast station in Mexico that was so delicious. And I wanna show you the secret to my omelet. So I actually have two eggs and three egg whites. Yes, it's gonna be a big monster sucker and I'm excited about it. I also, I'm gonna use some heavy cream. Now, I love to splash some heavy cream in my eggs. Just makes them so fluffy and creamy and delicious. It also adds a little extra healthy fat, which we don't need because eggs have a great healthy fat source, but I love that fluffiness that the uh, heavy cream brings to your eggs. I've got some butter melted in my skillet and I'm taking it off the ice. So I don't want it to get super hot, but I love to cook my eggs really slow. Do you guys do that? Do you cook them really high or do you cook them really slow? We're gonna take this egg and we're going to pour it into my skillet. And I'm gonna just top it off with a little bit of shredded cheese. We're gonna put some uh, mozzarella and we're gonna put some cheddar yes we're going to shred that right inside of our egg mix and then we're going to put a little bacon and a little ham because we have some of this ham left from last night so i personally like to put my cheese first i don't think it really matters we're going to flip it into an omelet hopefully as long as i don't make a mess out of it so we've got some cheddar cheese we're going to put some mozzarella cheese some bacon and some ham and we're going to make us a delicious omelet for dinner tonight i love breakfast so eating breakfast for dinner is always a awesome choice for me. And when I'm home alone, which is not very often, I like to just throw an omelet together because I can do it fast. I can make it the way I want and I have to worry about everybody's preferences. And I can be out of the kitchen in 10 minutes or less. So we used three eggs. Yes, I'm eating three full eggs and two egg whites. I think that's what I said. Or was it two eggs and three egg whites? Either way, I like to, I like to mix it up. I like to do a full egg and egg whites to make it bigger but to take out some of those calories. Now, you should always eat eggs. Okay, I know there's lots of research out there that changes like every three years. Eggs are bad, eggs are good, eggs are bad, eggs are good. But you don't wanna just eat egg whites, y'all. The best part of the egg is actually in the yolk where all of the benefits of the egg are in the yolk. So make sure you're eating eggs and not just egg whites. I added egg whites to this one because I wanted a big omelet. This is my meal for today. I did not eat lunch today. I was too busy at work. I did drink two keto nat drinks, which is what I'm gonna talk about in a couple of minutes if you're interested in listening in. 
I went on vacation to Mexico. And during the whole time I ate well, I did have some desserts. I did. I can't even tell you a story, and I wouldn't anyway. I'll always tell you the truth. I did have some desserts. I had a chocolate cake that was fantastic. And I had, uh, oh, that fancy dinner that I posted. Did I post? I forgot to post that last night. I'm going to post it in a few minutes. The fancy dinner we went for, I told you I was going to post it last night. I totally forgot. I'm going to post it tonight. It had two desserts that was so yummy. So I had three desserts the whole time I was gone. But I still lost a pound when I got back. And one of my top secrets is just following simple tips. The simple tips I want to share with you guys if you need them. Just put getting started in the comments. And these tips, these tips are what I use, what I follow, and what I share with my friends so that we can all see success. Guys, you don't have to make huge major changes in your life to see success if you're eating keto or even low carb. These simple things that I can share with you is exactly what I do every day in my lifestyle. It's what I did while I was on Mexico. Oh, while I was in Mexico. Now, with that said, I did, like I said, I did eat three desserts, and they were so yummy, and I don't even feel bad about it. They were great, and I don't eat desserts every day, so I was willing to do it. Let me wash my hands. And while we're chatting about my tips, I would love for you, anybody who is already following a low-carb or keto diet, I would love for you to give us a suggestion. What is one tip that you would offer a friend or a family member if they were starting out? What is the tip you would offer? Put it in the comments so we can all see and we can all share. And then I want to show you one of the things that I use on a daily basis, and I want to share a couple of tips that is not in the message that I would send. So if you are new and you want getting started tips, put getting started in the comments. And I want to share a couple of things with you myself, what I personally do for myself. So, who oh, I love pepper. I'm putting a lot of pepper in my omelet. Now look at this bad boy before I even start talking. Look at that, man. I like to cook my eggs really slow so I have it on really low heat. I love omelets. You can do an open face omelet, so literally cook this through and put it on a plate or flip it over into a traditional omelet. You can scramble it up and make a scrambled omelet. I mean, there's no way you can mess up an omelet. In Mexico, I had one with sausage and cheese, and I think I put a little bit of red onion in it, and it was so good. It was at a breakfast station, like an omelet station, and it was so yummy. All right, so guys, one thing I do for myself, and this is for me personally, is I like to set a goal. And I do that usually daily or weekly or even monthly. And it does not have to do with a scale. It does not have anything to do with a scale. As a matter of fact, I normally recommend my friends stay away from the scale because your body is a tricky thing. And weight does not matter as far as how you feel and how your clothes fit and how you look and the energy you have. It does matter if you have poop in your body. It does matter if you drink all the water you're supposed to drink. It does matter if you're not sleeping well. And the scale fluctuates so many times. So the goals I set for myself, yay, New said, drink one gallon of water a day. That is exactly what I was going to say. A goal I set for myself daily is water intake. And I set an alarm on my watch that says, Amy, Get up in one hour, and it will set a timer, and in one hour it'll go off, and I'll go and fill up my water cup. That is a daily goal that I make, and that is something that is a great tip for anybody to be successful in healthy living. Water is important. You want to make sure you're drinking water. Another thing you can do is find you an accountability partner. It doesn't have to be somebody who's going to live a strict lifestyle or somebody who's going to follow you through thick and thin through your journey, but someone you can call and talk to when you have questions, someone who is going to encourage you no matter how they are in their journey. Very important, guys. If you have a friend doing this with you and you're losing faster than them or you're feeling better faster than them, they may get a little jealous. Okay, They may get a little jealous because that's human nature. And they may not always be encouraging. As a matter of fact, they may try to sabotage you. Yes, it's real. We're talking real life now. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to be truthful. And you don't want to have someone who's going to sabotage you as your support system. So make sure you are having someone in your corner that is saying, way to go. Or try this different. Or whatever the case may be. I love to help people with accountability. 
If you want me to be your girl, I will be your girl. You just send me messages and we can chat and we can talk and I'll definitely keep you on track and help you. Now you might not like everything I say, because I'm always going to be honest, but I will be your girl. If you need somebody outside of your friend group or somebody outside of your family, send me a message. I would love to just keep track with you and see how things are going. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. You are putting some awesome tips in here and I'm going to run back through these and see if any of them are on my tip list. So guys, if you're getting started and you need getting started tips, put getting started in the comments. I want to show you one thing that I do on a daily basis that you may or may not be interested in. And if not, it's perfectly fine. But in Mexico, this is one thing I had every day that gave me so much focus and appetite control and energy and helped me sleep in a really, really soft bed that I'm not used to. And that's Keto Nat. This drink puts you in ketosis, giving you tons of benefits. It puts you in ketosis. So you, even when you're not strict in your food, or even when you might make a decision to have a chocolate cake, you can still get your ketones on. You can still get in ketosis. Now, does that mean you're going to burn fat? If you drink this and eat cake, you're not going to burn the fat like you won't. But if you ate the cake and you're like, oh, crap, now I need to get back on track, this drink is going to get you there. This drink actually will help you make better choices. When I went to that fancy dinner, I had one of these an hour before I went. I did not even finish it all. Like, I didn't even need it all. I didn't want it all. Like, these drinks have so many awesome benefits to help you along uh, along the way in your journey. This egg is looking so good. Look at this, man. I love eggs. This is a thick omelet. I got eggs and egg whites mixed up with bacon and ham and cheese and salt and pepper, and I'm excited for it. But you do not have to have this for success. This is an option for you to add or for you to do without a diet. I have a lot of friends that drink these with no diet at all. My granny is one of those. She loves the way these taste and she loves the way they make her feel. My dad drinks them every day with no diet whatsoever. He loves the energy he gets. My daughter loves them. She does eat low carb, but she loves the focus these give her with her ADHD. I mean, there are so many awesome benefits that this drink comes with. So if you put getting started in the comments, I will send you a little bit of information about this. If you're interested in more, you just let me know. But I definitely want to help you guys get started, and I want to be your girl if you're looking for somebody to help you along your journey. So, guys, if I've ever been an encourager to you, if you've ever found good things on my page, whether it be good recipes, good encouragement, good inspiration, whatever the case may be, make sure you're sharing my videos. Go ahead and share now. My job in this page is to help you. Okay, This page is not for me, even though I will tell you, I'm four years keto, four years, so exciting. I love the keto lifestyle. I love the way I feel and the way my life has changed, my family dynamics changed, everything has changed for me. This page has helped me a lot. You know why? You guys hold me accountable. When I'm tired and like today on my way home, I'm thinking I'm the only one home tonight. You know, I could just stop at China Walk and get some Chinese or I could just stop at Walmart and get a rotisserie chicken and just eat it in the parking lot. You know, I, there are so many things that go through my head on a daily basis like do I really want to cook? But then I think, oh, well, my friends are going to miss me on Facebook or you know what? Oh, I already got the groceries for this or oh, I can't wait to show Melody this new recipe. So you guys have held me accountable in so many ways you have no idea. I love this page because I built it for you to help you feel as good as I do. And I want to make sure that you guys understand that's what this page is for and that you're utilizing it. Like I post a lot of recipes, but I also post uh, lots of other stuff that's going to help you along your way. It's not ready to flip yet. That's looking good. It's going to be a fat omelet. I'm a big fat one. Uh, thank you, Rosalie. I got, I've had this shirt for years. I got it at Maurice's, of course. Uh, hey, Diana. I see a lot of folks are loving my shirt. Thank you, guys. You are so sweet. Ooh, Sarah got her mystery gift. What flavor was it, Sarah? Um, Evelyn, uh, Yvonne needs to help for a budget clean keto meal for one person. Um, well, Yvonne, there's a lot of ways you can eat keto for one person. Now, I'm not the best at it because I have a family, and i actually been trying to, to cook less because my kids are gone. My kids are all moved out now. So it's been just me and Ricky, and it definitely has been a challenge, but we are uh, we definitely are working on it. Connie says she needs help. Please, I can't quit eating and drinking Cokes. Oh, yes, Connie. I've got some getting started tips for you. Just put getting started in the comments if you need getting started tips. Um, oh, man, I need help to start. Sandra, I see so many people asking for those tips. 
I'm excited to help you guys, whether you're brand new or you've been following this page for years. Some of you are still not actually doing what you know you want to do. You're not really making changes, and I want to make sure I help you get started. So Karen's tip is stay positive. Take it one step at a time. Don't beat yourself up. Karen, that's excellent advice. Thank you so much for that tip. Carol says drink plenty of water. That definitely is on my list. Um, Tanya says she loves breakfast. It's her favorite meal. Stephanie, Ricky is feeling so much better today. He was in the bathroom a couple of times still, but he's feeling a lot better. He actually went to meet some friends for the hunting club. They have to meet for the hunting club. Um, thank you, Catherine. I sure appreciate that. Oh, Connie did not like the tiger knife. You didn't like the wild tiger, Connie. I actually had one yesterday. All right, we're going to flip my omelet, and we're going to do it carefully because it's still... It's still uh, it really is not ready, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go. Wish me luck. Cross your fingers. I'm not good at flipping the omelets. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. I love a good omelet. Look, I've got my oven on the absolute lowest setting, my stove top, my oven, and it still is cooking too fast. This is like the hot, this is like the uh, weirdest stove top ever. It cooks so fast, even when it's turned off, it still cooks. It gets hot. So I'm turning this, I'm pulling it off the eye for a minute so it can cook on its own, and I'm going to turn it back on. <laughs> so, Wild Tiger, you didn't like it, Connie. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. Yes, Linda, I used diced ham out of the package. I rarely ever use it because it does have carbs, and I rarely ever buy it, but Ricky bought it. So I was out of town, and Ricky bought it, so I thought I'd use it up. Um, Karen says she's been dieting since January 2nd, 2022. 41 pounds down. I've used 1,200 calories a day. No bread at all. Way to go, Karen. I'll give her some hearts. Terry, actually, it did not make me sick because I woke up and I drank my keto nuts. I drank lots of water and I got my body movement in. So I burned through those carbs pretty darn quickly. Um, hey, Lou Ann, I'm just making an omelet. We're just making simple omelets at the house tonight because I'm here all by myself. Eric's tip is have a partner to do it with. Great tip. Just make sure your partner is someone who's not going to bully you or to make you feel bad if you're not on the same level or drop off the face of the earth and then try to discourage you. So sometimes you have to change partners, okay? I'm telling you this because I've seen so many people go through the same thing. So when you find your partner, make sure it's someone who's going to encourage you. And if that changes, at any point, find you a new partner. Because sometimes things don't work out the way you hope. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to give up or that you need to listen to discouraging or negative people. Um, hey, Shanna. She said her tip would be to follow the amazing keto queen. Thank you, Shanna. You're so sweet. Drink water. I see that a lot. Drink apple cider vinegar, okay? Uh, I see lots of requests for the getting started tips. I'm definitely going to send those to you. I'm blocking the person who posted a GoFundMe. Uh, make sure you have an air fryer and trust Amy's recipes. I love it, Diane. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so funny. Rhonda says, don't give up if you slip. Just get right back at it. That is so true, Rhonda. None of us are perfect. Like, none of us. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I know you guys are not perfect. There are going to be times when you're going to eat something and you're going to say, oh, man, what did I do that for? And you're either going to say, oh, man, and get right back on it, or you're going to say, oh, man, let's just go ahead and ruin the day and keep on going. That's not what you need to do. You need to turn back around and get right back on track immediately, not the next day, not the next week, not the weekend, immediately after you've made that rough choice. Karen says, get some form of movement. Yes, whether that is walking, whether, and look, when you talk about movement, people think, oh, man, I don't want to join a gym. I'm not in the gym. I go to the gym very rarely. It's just not in my genes. I just don't have time for it. I just don't focus there. My focus is on food. But movement is so important. This is what you can do, guys. Instead of worrying about having to walk a mile or make an hour, this is what you do. Walk to your mailbox instead of driving around your driveway to get to it. Park at the back of the Walmart parking lot instead of the first five parking places. When you go to the bank, park at the end of the parking lot and walk into the bank. When you go to the grocery store or anywhere, don't park at the door. Just park further back. It's really simple. Just think about what you're doing. When you go to a hotel, use the stairs, not the elevator. When you go to dinner, make sure you walk before you go to dinner. 
So just get in some movement. It doesn't have to be anything major. Lisa has a great tip. Thank you so much, Lisa. I was hoping someone was going to say this. Measure. Okay, when you first get started, you want to get on the scale one time. You want to measure and then get back on the scale and measure once a month, every month. That's it. Once a month, every month. I promise you're going to be so much happier if you do it once a month, every month. Make sure you're measuring, not just using the scale. You're going to lose tons of inches. Your body is going to change. Your clothes are going to change. And you're going to see those things and see those numbers before you do the scale in most every single case. All right. Cindy says, I follow you even though I can't do diet because my kidney situation. I'm truly inspired to try and be more aware and intentional. Well, that is wonderful, Cindy, and thank you. I appreciate that, those kind words. Definitely, like you don't have to eat keto, guys, to follow my page. I have a lot of friends who eat low carb, and I 100% recommend keto or low carb. And there is a difference. I'm going to fastly run over that because my eggs are just cooking up over here and they're looking good. And I got to call it 7.30. So, low carb. The difference between keto and low carb is the carb count, okay? Low carb generally is 50 to 150 carbs a day. So if you eat 150 carbs a day, you are changing your lifestyle to a low carb lifestyle, okay? You can do that. You can do that totally. Anybody can do that. Keto, the difference between low carb and keto is the carb count. Keto for most is 25 net carbs or less. The reason for cutting those carbs down so low is your body will burn through those quickly. And when your body burns through those carbs, those 25 net or less, your body has to have a fuel source. So instead of using carbs and sugar for fuel, like most living Americans, your body will tap into its stored fat. Yes, listen to this. Your body taps into your stored fat for fuel. It takes your fat cells and breaks them down into ketones through your liver. So when you're eating keto, most cases, you're breaking down your fat for fuel. That's why people choose keto over low carb. But you can lose weight you can get healthy with low-carb living, and I recommend and support them both because there is no doctor that I know, I don't think there is one on earth, that will say, oh, sure, eat all the fat cakes, eat all the, the Debbie cakes, eat all the, the, uh, the, the, the pancakes and the waffles and all the things you want. It's perfectly fine. Your body's going to love you. No, that's not true. Most every doctor will tell you to limit your sugar intake, limit the carbs, because your body and your health depends on it. Your health, in most every case, can be tracked to our diet. And eating low carb is wonderful for your health and for your body. So I recommend and, and teach both low carb and keto, which are pretty much the same. It's just the carb counts. Uh, Claudia says she started keto on August 1st. Once I watched one of your videos, ordered Keto Nat, and I'm now 15 pounds. That is amazing. Since August the 1st? What? That is awesome. Give her some hearts. Claudia, that's great. Um, tip. Weigh yourself before started. Forget about the skills afterward. That's awesome, Kathy. You are so right. Janet, this is an awesome tip. Don't overthink it. You can eat very good, healthy food easier than you can think. Love it. That's awesome, Janet. I totally agree. So don't put tons of thought into it. Just look at each individual meal. Follow the tips I can send you if you ask for getting started tips. And you guys will be amazed. And says, water is great for your skin. Yes, ma'am. It sure is. Water is so good for your skin. Small changes add up to big results. Try to be consistent. Catherine, that is awesome tip. Thank you so much. Um... I'm looking for your tips. Where do you buy your Keto Nat? Wendy, I can send you information on that. You can get it directly from me. Melody says, agree. Amy, don't use the skills. You don't need to be on an emotional roller coaster. Me personally, I would weigh three different amounts each day. Everyone will. That's what the skills do. They fluctuate. Awesome, awesome advice, Melody. Love it. Um, ooh, Dora fixed her omelet this morning with some cheese. <clears throat> Judy, I see you asking Cindy about keto and kidneys. Guys, I have a lot of videos I can send you from physicians on this subject. If you have questions, just send me a message. I'm not a doctor, but I can share tons of information from doctors with you. Or you can talk to your doctor. Everyone's health history is different. 
Um, Ricky is feeling so much better. Thank you, guys. Karen says she walks by the skills every morning and refuses to get on them. I rarely get on the skills at my house. Very rarely. Um, my mom is doing wonderful, Shirley. Thank you so much. I sure appreciate you guys thinking about my family so much. I just love y'all. Yes, Natalie, we shipped to Canada. All right, and I see all these requests for getting started. So let me check on this omelet over here. Oh, yes. I mean, this omelet is good. I like mine fluffy. I do not like it overcooked. I like the light fluffy eggs. Ooh, I'm ready to dig into this baby. I thought I took it off the eye because it's done just sitting all by itself. Look how pretty that is. An omelet for me. It looks huge, don't it? It's eggs and egg whites mixed with cheese. I use cheddar and mozzarella and a little bit of bacon and ham. And I'm ready to tear this bad boy up and get ready for my call. So I've got some voicemails from earlier today. I will be returning all of those voicemails. Guys, if you, um, if you, thank you, Diane. You guys are so awesome. I'm not getting down to all of these tips, so guys, scroll these comments. There are some good tips on here. If you need some getting started tips from me, put getting started in the comments, and I'm going to get them sent out to you. And man, it looks so good. Uh, Y'all have got some awesome, awesome things to say. I'm so excited to have this page. I'm so excited that you guys have followed me. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the page and finding great things and encouragement. That is exactly what you're here for. And somebody's okay. Um... I don't know what that person is saying with the F4, so there must be something on here. I can't see it, but I'm going to erase that comment. We don't use those words. Delete. All right, I'll come back later and check and see if there's anything on here I might have missed. I tried to ban people who are not here for encouragement and dieting. And I usually do them quick. So if there is something on here that you guys see as disturbing, just ignore. That's what they post it for. They want attention. So we ignore. We just scroll on by. And I'll take care of that later. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here and get my omelet ready. Y'all have an awesome night. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.